Galvina Vincents and Igrasha Alep Canito, both from the town of Indan, raised five children. Wenceslao Q. Vincents, the eldest, was born September 28, 1910. Very few people know Vincents was a great eater. His oratory diligence and love for books were matched only by his voracious appetite. He would have six eggs, a glass of milk, and fried rice and bread for breakfast. His favorite dish was pancit, which he always had for dinner. It was usual for him to eat a whole chicken, a plate of pancit, and rice. His great appetite and capacity for food in large quantities may be one reason for his abounding energy. In town finished a mentally in just six years as valedictorian, when primary education at the time takes seven years. Also, he graduated with the highest honors in high school on March 25, 1927 and finishing it in just three years in Camarines North High School. While studying at the University of the Philippines, Vincent showed exemplary performance that paved the way to his fame and greater success as editor-in-chief of the Philippine Collegian in 1931 to 1932 and the President of the University Student Council in 1933. Vincent's co-founded the College Editors Guild and then served as first CEG President and first editor of the Guilder, its official publication. It joined Oops and Oops and Oops and Oops and Ngunit wala akong oras para sa mga ganyang bagay. Mas gugustin ko pang mag-aral na lang muna. Sige na! Oo, ikaw ipamayag na, Bintaw. Paumanhin. Pero kayo na lamang. Marami pa akong bagay na As dapat... As a law gusto. student in UP, he organized and led a public demonstration against writer provision which increased the salaries of members of the House of Representatives. While in UP, he met Liway Y. Gonzalez of Caridad Cavite, then society editor of the Philippine Collegian and one of the founders of the Sigma Beta Sorority.
Grace and Rana Valona. In 1940, Vincent was elected Governor of Camarines Norte. He resigned from governorship in early 1941 to run for congressman of the Lone District of Camarines Norte. It was an unprecedented victory. As the highest authority in the province, he brought the government closer to the people. He had an active interest in adult education, food production, capitalist labor relations, and unemployment problems among others. Wenceslao Q. Vincent, together with former Senator Arturo M. Tolentino, founded the Young Philippines Party, which advocated the grant of Philippine independence from American rule. Vincent does not mind being an oppositionist. He supported the candidacy of the aging General Emilio Aguinaldo by going into the provinces, speaking not on the personal qualities of General Aguinaldo, but on the fundamental principles of democracy under which a balanced two-party system is an essential requisite to prevent abuses, corruption, and inefficiencies. Manuel Alquesson's administration considered the efforts of Vincent an attack to his presidency. After the election, he was accused of libel and sedition. He was convicted by the lower court. Wenceslao Pinita Vincent is guilty beyond reasonable doubt by the prosecution for the crime of libel and sedition. Bintao, una pa lang, sinabi ko na sa'yo, tigilan mo na to. Ikaw lang yung napapahamak. Paano na kami? Paano na yung mga anak natin? Wala akong kasalanan, DYY. Kaya alam ko mga ako walang sala. Wenses lang, may magandang balita ako para sa'yo. Napawalang sala ka na. Makakalaya ka na sa wakas. Maraming salamat po, Ator. Vincent resorted to the Court of Appeals where he was acquitted of the crimes that the lower court found him guilty of. In December 12, 1941, Japanese forces landed in Ligaspi Albay, and the entire Bicol area was under the Japanese hands before Christmas of 1941. Unlike many politicians who readily collaborated with the enemy in occupied areas, Vincent organized the first guerrilla group that defied the Japanese army in skirmishes at Laniton Basag, Camarines Norte. This group included the native Aetas who used bows and arrows for fighting an all-out attack against the invaders and captured the provincial capital on May 3, 1942. On the same day, guerrillas in Camarina Sur, together with some of Vincent's men, captured Naga, the capital of Camarina Sur. Vincent and his guerrillas retreated to Labo, where they were betrayed by a former guerrilla by the name of Luis Villaluz in 1942.
Vincent, together with his father and other guerrillas, were captured by the Japanese soldiers. Fifty people say the robo. I killed the robo. I have not had a trial. The Geneva Convention says enemy soldiers captured are not to be killed. You there, where your men go, where your Americans go. Your captured as no captured me in the mountains. I don't know where my men or their guns are now. You lie, you lie! You know, you're right. She lied. She died. I kill you too. Nothing can make me happier than to die for my country, Major. You will die too. Father, together with other prisoners were bundled off into a trap. They are believed to have been killed somewhere in South Road and buried in unmarked graves in 1942.